So tell me, set the scene for us and tell me a little bit about your character in this studio. So my character and, and all the characters are kind of, um, they go for their sitting um, in this studio and uh, my character in particular, Cassandra, kind of, um, she's been a few times and she's got an agenda um, and, you know, she's vulnerable but strong. She's a young actor um, seeking answers, really. Um, which I can't say too much about because I don't want to give it away. But, um, yeah, she's, she's really resourceful and she's really um, active in, in kind of taking steps in her life, I think. Um, so it's all, it's all monologues delivered to the audience? So, yeah, the whole play is monologues and other characters actually interact. Um, and, and, you know, Catherine's been really clever with some, you know, interlinking bits which um, just make it really subtle and really funny. Um, but it's all monologues yet to the artist at the back um, and they just kind of open up on their their experiences of love and loss and longing and like you know their past and so because it's an ensemble piece yeah. but it, as you said it's those monologues does it not feel like you're kind of on your own at some points and it's always a one-woman show even though you're working as a team I mean I haven't felt that because although you are on your own and you are speaking to the artist at the back you can feel the other two there and you can feel their stories and and um, and a lot of this, you know, their stories might, uh, you know, uh, be part of your story. So, so I've never felt on my own. It, it, um, and especially because John's at the back, you can have, as an actor, it's really fun to imagine what he's saying or how involved he's being in what you're saying, and his response. So. And what was that decision like? Why was why was it decided that the artist shouldn't be seen? I don't. I mean, Catherine's choice. I think it's. I think it's really ambiguous and bold. Um, and tell me a little about some of the themes that will come up in the play, because all these characters, they're not interacting, but they've all bring something different to the table, is that right? Yeah, so, I mean, there's, a, there's I mean, we've discussed lots of the themes in rehearsals about, you know, um, past, future, growing up, death, life, um, challenges, yeah, things that everyone experiences. It's so relatable. Every single thing that each character goes through, we've all been through or are going to go through or have seen someone go through, so it's... It's really real. Um, and m m most of us will know Catherine Parkinson from yeah. things like Humans and the IT crowd. Yeah. But what was it like working with her as a writer, as a playwright? Just, she's done an amazing job. It's so interesting. Um, and I think she's bringing lots of different areas of expertise where, where she's an actress, she's managed to create these three really real characters, you know, that you'd see down the street that you know, your best friends, your mum, your dad. Um, and we've, we've been lucky enough to have her in the room and... and She's just so great. She's written such a funny, subtle piece. And, and for us um, actors, it's really nice to have the writer in the room because you get to ask those questions that you really want to know that, that aren't answered just in the script. You know, she's, she's been brilliant. Yeah, I was going to ask her, she's not the director, but she, is she always there? Is she always sort of chipping no, in with ideas? she's or? a busy lady. She's um, obviously in Home I'm Darling at the moment. So she's been in... We've had her, we had her in last week, um, which was really brilliant. And... But she's not there all the time, no. But there's lots of constant communication between um, the directors and us and Catherine, so um, it's definitely a team effort. <laughs> what attracted you to this role because of what we're talking about? Because it's a very sort of stare down at the audience yeah. sort of piece. I assume you've done lots of performances before that are the different varieties. Yeah. What, something so unique, what attracted you to this? Was it Catherine or was it the...? I mean... Well, when I first got the email about it, I, I read the script and it was just one of those pieces that I, I read it and I instantly had to read it again because there's little seeds that get planted throughout and then there's this ending that I didn't expect, um, which is it's funny and it's heartbreaking and it's, it's so touching. And I think for an actor to, to kind of read a part that, that there's so much bubbling underneath, but, you know... There's, there's all these funny, awkward moments of telling these stories that are inappropriate or appropriate. That is, there's so much to play with. Oh, there are awkward stories in there. You've there got are to awkward really stories. Stare down the yeah, the there's some awkward stories, but so human, like so human. Um, and, and for any actor to pick up a script where you've got that, that playfulness and you're not actually getting a response from anyone, you get to imagine all that for yourself. It's really fun. Is it the most fulfilling sort of roles when you sort of toy the line between drama and humour? Those sort of proper parts yeah I mean drama and, and humor go hand in hand don't they so yeah it's really lovely what are you hoping the sort of reaction will be to this 
what the reaction to sitting I think, yeah. I think if it were me watching it I'd, I'd probably watch it and then need to come and watch it again because it, you're so invested each each step of the way that you don't expect what comes to come um, so I think it will be really touching I think I think people will be laughing and crying so so there's a bit of a twist we can't reveal <laughs> somewhat yeah <laughs> a little okay. bit well tell us when it's on and tell us when we can come sit so uh, sitting is at the Arcola theatre from the 10th of April to the 11th of May um, it's on Monday to Saturday 8 p.m. there's a matinee on Saturdays at half past three and um, so you can't miss it